It's so sunny out here. Must be afternoon. But I'm not sure what time it is. But you know what I do know? Is that this is sometimes. Because it's the sometimes vlog! <laughs> Tyler Evans, everybody. I just got home. Not to sleep well. Last night I slept in North Hollywood at the Nest, which once was a recording studio. Now it's just a regular apartment of my friends because I was on a radio show this morning. I was only on it for about one minute because all these surprise guests showed up. And so I sort of voluntarily took a back seat so that I could enjoy hanging out in the green room with all these crazy people, including Disney legend and one of the original 18 Imagineers, Bob Gurr, designer of such things as the People Mover Platform, Autopia, you name it, actually, a lot of things. Mr. Bob Gurr. The interesting thing about that is, afterwards, we went to lunch. We were supposed to go to lunch, and I was a little bit late, and I rolled into the parking lot and found Bob Gurr wandering around all alone. Actually, I'll show you the video of that right now. Okay, lost in a parking lot, trying to find a faux restaurant. But I found Bob Gurr, but we cannot find the faux place. <laughs> Where is it? It's too big. You've been looking for a half an hour, you said. Yeah, 30 minutes. Half an yeah, hour. I've been, I've been all over. There's, he, has, he said Asian fusion, but there's nothing that says Oh, here Asian it is. Fusion. 9021 Fo. That's oh, what it is. Well, that's the first place I went. What a name. Anyway, yeah. here we are. Okay. Would you like to say hi, Bob? Hi, oh, how you doing? We're almost back there again. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. That was pretty cool. And we had a cool lunch. Carl Gottlieb, Ethan from Combat Radio. Bob Gurr, and me, and this guy Caesar, and me, just sitting there listening to these crazy stories. I would love to have vlogged all of that stuff, but I had to return home to vlog something completely different because yesterday I put up a challenge on Instagram that you could ask me questions and I would try my very best to answer them. We don't have much time, so we're gonna go as fast as possible. So Tyler picked 20 questions so that we could play 20 questions and he's going to read them to me because I cannot read his indecipherable handwriting. He also didn't write down the names of the people who asked the questions because he says that some of them are unpronounceable since it's like 4XDY, 3B2, 1. Underscore, thing. underscore, exclamation mark. Yes, so yeah. go, questions. Question okay. number one. 20 questions at random. Number one, what Disney attraction would you bring back from the grave? Uh, Mine Train Through Nature's Wonderland because it was huge, fantastic, and I love attractions like that that are slow, half dark ride and half environmental ride. It seems like it'd be pretty much the train version of the Jungle Cruise and it would be awesome. Second question. My favorite question that was asked of the night. Okay. What Disneyland ride would you put in your backyard? What Disneyland ride would I put in this backyard? Ooh, I don't know. I would probably move to a nicer area with a bigger backyard and put in the Jungle Cruise. Quarter size pirates for me. Ooh. Yeah. How but then you'd have to. But then it would be outdoors, and if it was sunny, it'd be weird. So yeah. I'm gonna stick with the Jungle Cruise. Fair. Question number three: How do you find out all your Disneyland facts and secrets? How do I find out all the Disneyland facts and secrets? A lot of you tell them to me. Number one, number two, I go there a lot. I grew up here. I had a lot of friends, parents who worked at the theme park. I have friends whose parents were opening day cast members, and then I've met a couple of Imagineers and all kinds of weird mega nerds like Jeff Heimbach and all kinds of things. There's all kinds of wonderful books, websites. Someday I think we need to put like a giant massive list of crazy so. Disney fact resources on the website. Let's flip to the next question. Question number four. Do you remember the first ride you rode at Disneyland? I do not remember the first ride I rode at Disneyland because the first time I ever went to Disneyland, I was a tiny little baby in the 1980s, but I'm sure that it was something like the Disneyland Railroad. I tried to ask my mother what the first ride I went on, because that was one of the first questions I saw yesterday. She says she has no idea, and that's a weird question for me to ask her. I didn't think it was so weird, but she did. Okay, okay. number five. Number five, do you ride rides every time you go to Disneyland? No. No. Most of the time, if you don't ride any rides, you actually kind of have a lot of fun. I like to ride the rides, don't get me wrong, but most of the time that I go, I just like to look around at all kinds of weird things. It's like watching your favorite movie a hundred thousand times, and instead of watching the actors anymore, you're watching the background to see all these weird things. It's kind of how it is at Disneyland. Plus, if you don't ride any rides and you're not standing any lines, you can sit around and enjoy all the artistry and the magic of the environments at Disneyland. All right. Fair answer. Question number six, the most difficult one I'm going to ask you today. Okay. If you could ask Walt Disney one question, what would it be? Whoa. If you could ask Walt Disney only one question, what would it be? Skip. Uh, I know my answer. Yeah. Well, what would you ask him? I would ask him what he meant by Kurt Russell. 
Oh, that's true. Okay, so there's this rumor, this myth, this legend, this possibly true. I don't know because nobody's ever seen a photograph of this note. But the rumor is that Walt Disney's last words weren't even spoken, but written down next to his bed as he lay dying in the hospital. He wrote down, Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell? Now, was Walt thinking of a new movie? Was Walt thinking of an idea to edit a movie? Did Walt want to write Kurt Russell a personal note? Nobody knows. That's what very, I very ask. interesting. We got to ask Kurt Russell about that. Okay. Yeah, okay. Number seven. Easy one. What's your favorite Number band? Eight. My favorite band? Easy. The Clash. Do that one. Number eight. Do you ever plan on visiting Walt Disney I World? I do plan on visiting Walt Disney World as soon as possible. I've only visited once for one day before. It was very surreal and weird. I would love to visit again and film all kinds of wonderful videos, except for it would cost a lot of money. Okay, first of all, there's plane tickets yeah. or driving across the country, which would probably be better because then you could stop and film a lot of other weird stuff yeah. along the way. Plane tickets or that, then you have to get there. If you take a plane, you got to have a rental car. If you're going to stay off property, which means you're going to have to spend half your day driving into the property, the Room smartest board. thing to do would be to stay on Disney World property, but then they're going to cost like $100 a night. And if you're going to fly out there, you might as well stay there at least 7 to 14 nights so that you could film all kinds of crazy, wonderful things. Yeah. And so we're talking about three to $5,000. And I believe I am negative $500 at the moment in my personal finances. So I don't know when... I will be able to journey to Walt Disney World. I don't have any current plans Sometimes. to do so, but I want to have a plan to do so. I'm just trying to figure out how. Yes, next question. Quick two-parter. Do you ever? Do people ever look at you strangely when you're making your videos? Part one. Part two, has a cast member ever asked you what you were doing? People do look at me strangely all the time anyways, whether I'm filming a video or not, because I'm usually doing the same type of thing, only not talking to a camera. When I am talking to a camera, all kinds of people look at me strangely. If you look in the background of both random land videos but especially the vlogs because i don't usually stop them and edit them like this you can definitely see people giving me some weird looks what was the second part of the question i forget already did a, has a cast member ever asked you what you were up to yes cast members ask me all the time like do you need me to take a picture for you because the random land camera looks like a picture camera and i say no thanks it's a video and then they feel weird let me say this too, cast members are the super most awesome people in the entire world and a lot of them now have seen the videos or know what I'm doing just because they're seeing me around so much and they are the friendliest, most helpful, most kind, wonderful people in the world and the rudest people to cast members are usually annual pass holders or people who feel like they know a lot about Disneyland and are like, you don't know how to do your job. Please don't be rude to cast members. No, they're it's really awesome. messed up. Back they deal with Disneyland. a lot of horrible agonizing things all day long they stand mm -hmm. up all day and they're on stage acting very professional very friendly cast members are the best if Next you get question. a cranky cast member just be nice to them anyway there's probably a reason they're cranky it's not their fault pebble in their shoe yeah next okay we're halfway through the list now okay okay we gotta how hurry did you, how did you meet adam tyler and jeff heimbuck okay how did i meet tyler evans i was in a band called the scarred we were on tour in april of 2006 we played a little town called dalton georgia in the giant trade and convention center to a large crowd and then we slept at Tyler Evans' house when he was 16. He really wanted to go to our show the next day in Savannah, so we took him there because we had to drive back up the other way and that's how we became friends forever. I met Jeff Heimbuck because of Adam the Woo. They were hanging out and I met Jeff Heimbuck and I met Adam the Woo because four years later in 2010, from, the, from that tour, I'm referencing four yeah, years after I, that, yeah. we went on tour with Adam's band called The New Threat because Adam found out that I had a website of Back to the Future filming locations and he decided that two Omega nerds such as us in bands should team up and tour together. He was just starting the videos and now of course he has become Adam the Woo. But back then he was just Adam Day Woo. Guys a freaking genius. And we were friends. Okay. Okay. Guys, Number 11. What is your favorite Disney movie? My favorite Disney movie changes all the time. Right now at this moment when I think about my favorite Disney movie, I'm assuming they mean animated. They could. They could mean Pixar, animated, or anything. Live action. Ooh. If I had to pick one movie to watch right this second, for some reason I'd watch Finding Nemo. That's the best answer I can give because I love a lot of Disney movies. As a kid, though, I would say my favorite classic animated movie was either The Jungle Book or Great. Robin Hood. Great. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, what are your favorite and least favorite Disney characters? Favorite live action Disney movie? Probably Follow Me Boys. Weird I choice, but it's, me, boys. it's my favorite. What was it? I assume this question means what's your favorite and least favorite Disney characters. I assume they mean good guys and villains. My favorite... Disney character is Lem Siddons. Fred McMurray. Amazing. It's a weird answer. Also from Follow Me Boys. Favorite Disney character, if you mean cartoon characters, very difficult because some Disney characters aren't really Disney characters. They're characters from literature and other stuff. In the actual literature, maybe Peter Pan or Winnie the Pooh. Least a. favorite, a. I guess, a villain you don't like that much? A villain I don't like that much. Hmm. My least favorite Disney character is Jeff Heimbuck? Okay. 
what is your favorite theme day at Disneyland? Dapper Day. I Easy. Everyone looks beautiful, and they're a lot of fun. And when they all went on the Mark Twain steamboat and all rushed to one side two or three Dapper Days ago, it almost tipped over. <laughs> and that's amazing. I don't even know what this question means, but are you the voice in Adam the Woo's intro? I guess they mean the singing intro? I am not the voice in Adam the Woo's intro, although the first Here You Leave Today in the Random Land intro is actually Adam the Woo, and the finger pushing the button is Adam the Woo. So Adam's in my intro. I am not in Adam's intro, as I did not live in Florida when he created the intro. Although, his new intro, the footage, I filmed many of the shots, yep, like him running down the back to the future hill, etc. Oh my gosh, this is taking a very long time. I apologize that we're sitting so still. Okay, next. Only a few questions left. Okay, let's get up and walk. Let's get up and walk around while we film the questions. Next question. Second next favorite question, question on the list. Second. Are Cheetos gluten-free? I don't know, but somebody just told me they were, so I'm going to believe them and say yes? Okay, 16. Why did you change your hair? I didn't change my hair. I actually let my hair grow out and I did not keep bleaching it as I cut it. The Speaking of cuts, did you notice this cut? Whoa, that was crazy. Anyway, no, I just wanted to see what my natural hair color looked like. We have four more questions. We don't have very much time. Go, Tyler. We have like 30 seconds. Hurry. 17. How long can you hold your breath? How long can I hold my breath? I don't know, but longer than that. Okay, number 18, what are your thoughts on the changes coming to Tomorrowland? I am very excited for the changes coming to Tomorrowland. I've heard lots and lots of rumors. It will be very frustrating when Tomorrowland is closed so they can implement the new changes. If half the rumors are true, Tomorrowland is going to be awesome. Yes. 19, when is your next meetup? I don't know. Hmm. Anytime you want to meet We up. should have a potluck of some kind. I would a love potluck. That. I don't know. Uh, TBD. Go. Okay. Number 20. Last question. If your house burned down right now, what three things would you grab? If my house burned down right now, I would grab my camera, my computer, and Evans, my Ernest. son. And I would leave Tyler to burn. And the final question is, what would I ask Walt Disney if he were alive today? Through science. Through science. I would ask Walt Disney to say hello to all of you on this vlog. That's kind of a cop-out answer. I'll answer that question better in the future. Okay, I really gotta go. There's a couple questions. There were so many more questions. I will answer more questions. And tomorrow's vlog, I will make Tyler pick out at least five more questions. That's enough questions for now, because I'm just running out of space on the camera. That's why all these jumpy cuts. I keep having to delete pictures that I don't want to delete. I gotta go now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more Sometimes Vlogs. Make sure to go check out Random Land, YouTube.com, blah, 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 blah. Live Fast, I Pour on YouTube. Also, livefastipour.com. Tyler writes articles there. Livefastipour.spreadshirt.com. If you don't want to wear a weird long sleeves t-shirt and get really, really sweaty, go over there. I don't know what else to say. Goodbye. See you later. Say goodbye, Tyler. Goodbye, Tyler. Say goodbye, Tyler. Say goodbye, Tyler. Say goodbye, Tyler.